Hello dear children today we learn a new section from chapter 12 ratio and proportion the new section is proportion have you heard about proportion yes if two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion and use the symbol given to equate the two ratios for example 35 is to 70 is in proportion with 2 is to 4 here 35 and 4 are called extreme terms and 70 and 2 are called middle terms we can learn more about ratios by solving questions from exercise 12.2 first question determine if the following are in proportion question a 15 45 40 and 120 to check 15 45 40 and 120 are in proportion first we find ratio of 15 and 45 then find ratio of 40 and 120 so first find ratio of 15 and 45 for that first we write this ratio in fractional form that is 15 by 45 we know that both 15 and 45 are multiples of 15 so we can divide both numerator and denominator by 15 since 115 is 15 we write 1 here and since 315s are 45 we write 3 now the fraction becomes 1 by 3 and hence the ratio of 15 is to 45 is 1 is to 3 next we can find ratio of 40 and 120 for that write 40 is to 120 that is equal to that can also be written as 40 by 120 now we can convert this fraction into its simplest form for that first cancel both zeros from numerator and denominator since both 4 and 12 are multiples of 4 we divide both numerator and denominator by 4 since 1 4 is 4 we write 1 here and since 3 4 are 12 we write 3 here hence the fraction becomes 1 by 3 and hence the ratio is 1 is to 3 now check both ratios yes both are equal to 1 is to 3 since both ratios are equal we can say that 15 is to 45 and 40 is to 120 are in proportion we can write this proportion as 15 is to 45 is in proportion with the 40 is to 120 Next question: thirty-three, one hundred twenty-one, nine, and ninety-six. To check these numbers are in proportion, first we can find ratios of thirty-three and one twenty-one. Then find ratio of nine is to ninety-six. So first we can write thirty-three is to one twenty-one. That can also be written in fractional form as Thirty-three divided by one hundred twenty-one. Since it, it is clear that both thirty-three and one hundred twenty-one are multiples of eleven, so we can divide both numerator and denominator by eleven. Since eleven threes are thirty-three, we write three here, and since eleven elevens are one hundred twenty-one, we write eleven. And then the ratio becomes three is to eleven. 
Next we can find ratio of 9 is to 96. 9 is to 96. That can also be written as 9 by 96. Both 9 and 96 are divisible by 3. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. Since 3 3's are 9, we write 3 here. And here, 3 3's are 9, we write 3 here. And since 3 2's are 6, we write 2 here. Hence, the ratio becomes 3 is to 32. While looking both ratios, it is clear that both these ratios are different. Hence, we can, first one is 3 is to 11 and second one is 3 is to 32. Hence, we can conclude that these ratios are not in proportion. We can write this as 33 is to 121 not in proportion with the 9 is to 96. Second question. Write true or false against each of the following statements. Question A. 16 is to 24 is in proportion with 20 is to 30. Our question is to check this statement is true. For that we can find ratios of 16 is to 24 and 20 is to 30 separately. First write 16 is to 24. It can also be written in fractional form as 16 divided by 24. And we know that both 16 and 24 are divisible by 4. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 4. Since 4 4 are 16, we write 4 here. And since 6 4 are 24, we write 6 here. Again clear that both numerator and denominators are divisible by 2. So, first cancel that 4 and write 2 because 2 2's are 4. And here write 3 because 3 2's are 6. Now the ratio becomes 2 is to 3. Now check next part that is 20 is to 30. For that write 20 is to 30 that is equal to 20 divided by 30. To convert this fraction into its simplest form we can cut both zeros from numerators and denominators. Hence this fraction becomes 2 by 3. And hence the ratio is 2 is to 3. Now it is clear that both ratios are equal to 2 is to 3. That means the given statement is true. The given statement is 16 is to 24 is in proportion with the 20 is to 30. Hence we can say that this statement is true. Next step the question. Are the following statements true? Question A. 40 persons is to 200 persons equal to rupees 15 is to rupees 75. To check this statement is true, first find ratio of 40 persons is to 200 persons. For that write 40 persons is to 200 persons and write this ratio in fractional form as 40 divided by 200. Next convert this fraction into its simplest form. For that cut zeros from both numerator and denominator. Next, it is clear that this 4 and 20 are divisible by 4. So, again divide this 4 and 20 by 4. Since 1 4 is 4, we write 1 here. And since 5 4 are 20, we write 5 here. And hence the ratio becomes 
1 is to 5. Next find ratio of rupees 15 and rupees 75. So first we write rupees 15 is to rupees 75. Now write this in fractional form as 15 by 75. It is clear that both 15 and 75 are divisible by 15. We can divide both numerator and denominator by 15. Since 115 is 15, we write 1 here. And since 55 are 75, we write 5 here. Now, the ratio becomes 1 is to 5. Now we get both ratios are equal to 1 is to 5. Hence, the given statement is true. That is, 40 persons is to 200 persons is equal to rupees 15 is to rupees 75. So, we can write this statement is true. Fourth question. Determine if the following ratios form a proportion. Also, write the middle terms and extreme terms where the ratios form a proportion. Question A. 25 cm is to 1 meter and rupees 40 is to rupees 160. To check, these ratios are in proportion. First find ratio of 25 cm is to 1 meter. That is 25 cm is to 1 meter. Now write this ratio into its fractional form. That is 25 cm divided by 1 meter. We know that to find the ratio, first we can convert both numerators and denominators into centimeters. Numerator is already centimeter. So we write 25 centimeter as such. And we know that 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So denominator can also be written as 100 centimeter. Now both units are same. Now we can divide numerator and denominator by 25. Since 125 is 25, we cut 25 and write 1 here. And since 25 into 4 is 100, we cut 100 and write 4. Now the fraction becomes 1 is to 4. Next we find ratio of rupees 40 and rupees 160. For that write rupees 40 is to rupees 160. Now write this into fractional form. That is 40 divided by 160. Now cut zeros from numerator and denominator. That is cancel 0 and 0. Now cut both numerator and denominator by 4. We can write 1 here because 1 4 is 4. And here we write 4 because 4 4 are 16. Now the ratio becomes 1 is to 4. Look at ratios from both sides. Both are equal to 1 is to 4. Hence we can say that 25 cm is to 1 meter and rupees 40 is to rupees 160 is in proportion. That can be written as 25 cm is to 1 meter is in proportion with the rupees 40 is to rupees 160. Now we got 25 cm is to 1 meter is in proportion with the rupees 40 is to rupees 160. Next part of the question is to find extreme terms and middle terms. The name itself says that extreme terms lies in the extreme position. Here the extreme terms are 25 cm and rupees 160. So we can write Extreme terms is equal to twenty five centimeter and rupees one hundred sixty. 
25 centimeter and rupees 160 next write the middle term so we can write middle term is equal to that also clear that the middle terms lie in the middle here the middle terms are 1 meter and rupees 40 so we can write 1 meter and rupees 40 thank you